Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2. Alright, we'll go on to Space Zone in just a little bit. But first You notice there's this like optional level here? Now, I don't even know why it's on the world map to begin with, but hey, but I'm gonna show it off anyway. Well, it may be an optional stage, but it was very short. Alright, now we're going to head up here. because Now this hippo stage, this is the only way you can get into space up. Oh, before we, before we forget, I want to show thing, one thing that I did not know until I watched that let's, let's race I was telling you about in the last video. Apparently, if you uh, jump into the snot bubble and then move to the left, you can find an extra life. I wonder why I didn't know that many years ago. But anyway, to get to space zone, we just have to fly all the way across the top. Up until we reach the goal bell. You know, that's another thing that makes me wonder. Why are there Gordos in this game? I thought Gordos were in Kirby games. Yeah. Well, I guess that's one thing I guess we'll never know. That's one thing I did not want, but, oh well. Alright, now on to Space Zone. Alright, I'm gonna try to find the secret exit first. Oh, thank goodness, I almost got hit there. Okay, it should be around here somewhere. Yep, I knew it. Got it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. And here we are! Here's the secret goal. Now watch what happens in the background. Oh yes, did you notice that the, mo that the moon actually changed faces? Because before we got the secret goal, it had a smiley face. And now it just frowned.
Well, that was easy. Well, notice, notice that the moon isn't frowning now. It's now making a sad face, except no tears coming out. Ah, well. Pointless information. Let's keep going. Oh, but here's something that's probably not pointless. A few nights ago, I was playing this game, this game, and surprising to the sounds, it was my first ever death-free run of this game. And it only took me like 38 minutes to complete. And after I, a few days after I completed it, I was checking Speed Demo's archive to find out how how long the fastest run was. And it turns out. So it was 32 minutes and 5 seconds. So, in a way, I missed the speedrun record by 6 minutes. Now, how did I know it was that long? No, I didn't time it the whole way. No, because um, I was listening to a Jordan Pruitt's Permission to Fly CD, and apparently, CD is only 40 minutes long, and I was able to finish Wario's Castle before the CD was even over. Now, but, then again... I don't think I'll ever be fast enough to beat a speedrunner, though. But those speedruns that post, they are, they are really entertaining, though. As in, you know, Speed Demo's archive actually kind of helped me, me in a couple of ways. Well, like, for one, if it wasn't for that website, I would have never gotten a 100% on Kirby's Dream Land 3. Oh, wait, no, let me refer you. no. Oh, no, 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 I got 100% on Kirby's Dream Land 3 before I knew about Speed Dumb's Archive. I, what I meant to say was Kirby 64. Sorry about that. Ooh, side-scrolling! Can I go under? Yes, I can! This side scrolling stage often makes me forget how long this stage is. Too. Oh man, I wish I could reach the invincible star, but that porcupine's in the way. Oh well. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't believe I missed that mushroom. I could have really used it too. Well, I got this mushroom. Kind of does look like the Tanga from Super Mario Land 1. Oh, I wasn't that hard. And I'm going to stop the video here. So until next time, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1, 
Later, folks. <laughs>